Okay, uh, I'm going to finish off this video series by uh, outputting some set, set out points, uh, cross sections and long sections. And I might start with the set out points. So we have a command called multi set out and I'm just going to run that and create a new set out. Uh, but what it allows you to do is output set out points um, for roads strings in the, in the project uh, but at the same time also output set out tables point files or CSV files that can be given to um, the su surveyor for construction. I want to load one of our standard styles um, this one is LEB REB codes with a PENZD table set out. Now if I didn't want to output the left edge of bitumen and our right edge of bitumen codes. Um, I could delete those and maybe tell the software that I want to output the left topper curb. Uh, where is it? It's probably, there we go, left topper curb. And I could do that with an additional offset a level adjustment. Now the software is going to add some text, uh, a point uh, number in the drawing and I'm going to say we'll offset that out on the left another meter. We'll go two. And I'm just going to do the same for the right top of curb. We'll see how this looks. If I need to change it I'll come in and, and change it. But I'm telling the software that they're the codes that I want to set out. Now using styles, set out styles, we can tell the software um, how we want to output uh, what frequency we want to output uh, the, the roads and strings. So um, uh, I might go for this 5 meter tangents quarter points for President Street which means every 5 meters I'll get a set out point. Uh, on any arcs I'll get the quarter points if the arc spacing is less than 40. So um, what I'm going to do is um, President Street I'm going to set out using 5 meter tangents quarter points. Now the left edge, the right edge and the edge of bitumen string, I don't want to set those out so I'm going to turn those off. And the curb returns I will set out and I will use uh, the same style as I applied to President, President Street. So um, they should be set out with quarter point arcs. Now. The point display tab allows you to um, set up what information will be set uh, in the plan, set out in the plan. So I just want the point number with a circle around it. Um, that's the text style it's going to use and the layout it's going to be put on. So you could um, set up a nice font or standard font that you use. You could put all this on its own layer. Um, so that's in regards to the, the points. And we'll also generate a table. Uh, this one's just going to show the point number, the coordinates, the design level and the code but you know, there's lots of other columns that we can add and the software will also generate some files for us. So by clicking create set out I need to run through and set the location for the set out tables. Now I only need to do this once because um, uh, if I select on cre uh, create set out again those tables will just update. Um, so you have to re-update all the time. Uh, but there we go, we can see the points outputted in uh, plan there. Now, uh, you know, if I wanted to style them to make it look a bit nicer, you know, I can make some changes to the, you know, the font or the text size, but rerunning create update, you can see it just updating um, uh, there in plan. Now on the, what did I put for the right, maybe go one metre offset, I'll put two. Okay, um, so there's some set out points. The next thing I want to do is to get some cr is get some cross sections out. Now, um, with the, this new cross section engine, if you're running a template where you haven't used 
uh, the new cross-section uh, engine yet, I recommend running CSD Lay. It will create um, a whole bunch of AutoCAD layers for us that, that the software will use uh, for the cross-section output. So if I click on cross-section plots, pick on President Street, um, selected sampled sections for now. Um, but on a job like this, um, uh, at the moment I'm currently running one metre sample. If you remember when I created this job or created President Street, I set it up at a sampling of one metre. I'm going to change this to 10 metre spacings. And now I'm just, I mean, I'm about putting one sheet here. Um, so uh, we're only getting sections every 10 metres. If I wanted to edit that change list to add a few ex extra sections, I can just go into here, add a few extra sections in. Maybe I want the, um, uh, the horizontal geometry points or the vertical geometry points shown as well. I can go in and tick that on. Um, I might have a, I might use the 10 metre horizontal geometry and vertical geometry option. Right, we, we can see the sub base set up. Um, we can see the cross falls appearing when they change. Uh, if you did want the cross, six show, cross falls shown on every section, um, all you do is you go to annotation objects, cross falls, and I can tick on to show on every section. Um, but for more information regarding the new cross-section engine, uh, we do have a full playlist of about 25 videos on YouTube that I recommend that you um, you check out. Shows you uh, in, in detail how to set these up. Um, now, if I click on local update and tick on vertical grading closing, that means that whenever I make a change to my vertical design, uh, these cross-sections will update. And then by hitting plot to layout, I can produce them onto... Uh, sheets ready to be plotted out. Okay, so let's go get some long sections out. So I'm going to run long section plots, President Street. I'm going to load in a nicer looking style, um, maybe 500 to 100. Oh, no, that was good how I had it. Okay, um, now look, if I wanted to show a few extra bands on here, um, uh, let's do so. Maybe I want to show cut and fill depths at the centre line. And maybe I want to show the vertical grading of one of those um, uh, uh, curb uh, channel designs. So what I might do is say, look, also show the edge of bitumen on the left. I won't show the the vertical curve and grade details. I call this one left uh, curve and channel and we'll set a different layer for that to go on. Now um, top to bottom, bottom to top which means whatever's down the bottom will be up the top of the bands and I'll push the edge of bitumen left down the bottom there. So if I update the display I've got cut and fill design existing left curb and channel um, you know, if that band probably needs to be edited just to fit that in so I'll just put K and C then update that once we're ready to plot we just click on plot to layout and uh, that long section is ready to go So thank you for watching this uh, video series on, on urban road reconstruction. Um, just remember via the welcome screen uh, you can uh, access the blog where we put a lot of uh, videos uh, and other articles up. Um, YouTube page you will see a, a quite a comprehensive list of um, videos uh, that we publish. And if you do get stuck on a project and you, and you want some help you can um, uh, lodge a ticket via the technical support system. You can email me if you like as well. My email address is andrew.banson at civilsurveysolutions.com.au uh, So thank you for, for watching.